Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome to progress video number three. Let's go ahead and get this started with getting the Ardoin cloak number one. And here's me getting the cloak and getting a the experience lamp. Unfortunately, the experience lamps aren't five times either. I know a lot of people are saying that that would be too OP, but let's face it, I mean, you're already losing 50% if you die anyway, so I don't think five times on experience rewards would be OP, but... To me, it kind of just makes the experience lamps kind of useless, but I mean, either way, I still went ahead and just used it on hit points because I might as well use it on a skill that's not going to end up losing experience if I die, so I went, I'll went, i pretty much use it on any of the five skills that I get. But now here's me finishing the feud quest. I actually did this quest just for the Addy Skimmy because there's not really, I don't really know how you can get the Addy Skimmies in the game at the moment, so... I knew the feud dropped it, uh, one of the bosses on the feud dropped it, so we just went ahead and did this quest, quest got it over with. Did Gertrude's cat, reason I did this quest is so I could get cats and raise them to sell for 200 death runes at a time. So I had some Grand Slam plans on doing Lost City right now, but I just realized, I thought there was no requirements for this quest by the way, but I realized that I need 36 woodcutting and 31 crafting. Obviously I knew the tree spirit was there, but... I totally forgot that I needed all this other junk up. So yeah, I'm pretty much skilling there. Um, something that's changed for me is my combat stats. I got 40 attack and 51 strength. That's 31 levels right there between the two. And I also got 3 defense levels, so that's not really impressive at level 30, but got up to 33. Plan on getting that to 40 and then these other two at 60. Um, I want to get myself a dragon dagger to defend myself. Uh, I don't really want to show it off and stuff because I think people will probably like want to kill me at that point. But I do want to carry it in my inventory and just pull it out and start spanking people with it. You know, kind of defend myself. And I've been able to defend myself really well. I haven't died in the game yet. So let's go ahead and keep it that way. I want to keep my combat high. I'm 53 combat. People actually don't come for me, so that's kind of nice as well. But let's go ahead and just get these combat levels up. I just realized I'm rank 400, I think, in dead man mode. So that's cool. I don't know how many people are actually playing. I'd say it's about 5k people, so. I don't know if any of you guys actually know the number. Feel free to leave a comment below telling me that, so. Let's go ahead and move on from here. And there's the two requirements for Lost City, so let's go ahead and do that. And this is going to make for some, some pretty good gains, actually. I need that Dragon Dagger, honestly. Um, I got my cat ready to sell, so. Sorry, I have to get that Dragon Dagger so I can go ahead and put that into the deposit box, and then I'll start getting 60 attack. Alright, there we go. That wasn't so bad. I did find a guy here on Entrana Fishing, and I really wanted to kill him, but I didn't end up getting that chance to, unfortunately. Now this is a nice teleport to have right now. Oh, I got prayer too. But basically... I can't afford my Ardoin teleports just because it's two law runes per. I only have two law runes right now. Well, actually, after I go back to Varak, I only have one law rune, so. Be pretty much screwed over at that point. So, yeah, this is the best way for me to get to Ardoin right now. Because it's free. It's a good cape. It's free. Again. So, yeah, that's pretty good right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and head north, and I'm actually going to do myself a clue scroll, which is over here. Yes, I got a medium clue scroll. I was killing guards. Um, and then I'll head over to West Ardoin. Alright, so I'm going to have to give up this cat. And let's see. What, I think I get 200. Yes, I do. That should be worth about 24k cash. So that's honestly a really good money making guide. If anybody's uh, not a money making guide, really, but uh, just an extra money making thing. If you could do something while you're skilling. Um, like fishing or something, just have a kit and follow you. Um, and the nice thing is that you could stack it in the bank. I mean, once it's a cat, if you die to somebody, nobody's going to be able to take the cat from you. So it's basically just a free 200 death runes that are sitting there. And if you die, they're still going to keep them. This guy's doing, oh, holy crap, 67. He's only an iron, though. Kind of a noob. Just looks big and scary but yeah let's go ahead and just finish this clue and then gonna sell some of these and we're gonna get our dragon dagger well i was gonna teleport back to varrock but this says that i need to go to the ardoin pub which i'm pretty much already here i should probably just walk from here it seems like a closer distance but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and get this over with 
and then I'll teleport over. I don't know if that's going to finish the clue because this was only step one, but we'll see what happens. So I decided to get myself a new cat. I think it's a good investment. We'll make a ton of money back just spending 100 for the cat, and then I'll just give him anchovies or something just to junk food. Uh, got a whatever the blue and gray one this time. Not really sure why they colored it blue, but unless my eyes are just jacked up. But let's go ahead and hop to 345, and there is a lot of people that accidentally skull here, and they say even the right click is on the right option. It's probably because you have a team cape on, but nonetheless, what I would do if I was you, if you're selling stuff in here and you don't want to skull an accident, put a bow on with no arrows. That is the best way of basically getting out of the situation, but let's go ahead and hop. All right, so here's me officially completing Lost City. I've actually had the staffs for a little while, but I knew that's all I needed to do was come in here, so I wasn't really too concerned about it. Uh, the reason I just did this quest is so I can get Dragon Dagger and the Dragon Longsword. Here's finishing my clue, which was complete crap. I was hoping to get something else, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. Now, I decided to get 50 mining so I can go up to that spot by the White Wolf Mountain so I can get to some Ice Giants. I have that as a Slayer task right now. Decided to go ahead and start some Slayer, and I just wanted to get to a safe spot to kill some Ice Giants. And my first Slayer kill, I got level 4 Slayer. I'm actually halfway through the task right now, which was like... See, I got 56 Ice Giants, and I got about 20 more left, and I'm already like 31 Slayer. I don't show that in this video, but that's just what I have at the moment. But while I was there, I decided to get myself some Ice Gloves, because I know I'm going to need them for the Heroes Quest, and for the Recipe for Disaster Quest. So... Yeah, I figured I might as well, since I'm there, might as well just save the uh, time on having to go back. We got a Nature Talesman from the Ice Giant and sold for 5k, which was actually a nice sum of money. And yeah, doing pretty well at this point. I was at the bank on World 345, and somebody died and lost a Mithril Kite and five Ranner Seeds. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I ended up getting to loot that stuff, sold the Ranner Seeds at 1.5k each. Here's me doing Underground Pass. I actually got really lucky right here. You can pretty much see this right here. I don't know if any of you guys have ever done the Underground Pass before, but pretty much when you step on one of these tiles, there's a good chance you're going to fall through. Everybody has their own path. It's not like it's one path for everybody. It's just every person has a different path. So for me, it was pretty much just straight all the way through, and then up to this point, I ended up falling. And then I ended up falling again, which sucked, but at that point, I already knew which one I had to do. So I only lost 30 hit points during this time. If you've, you can get really unlucky and lose up to like 100 hit points, so here's my favorite part of the quest, if any of you guys have done this, you basically push a boulder on top of a unicorn, which is so savage, but I mean, it's pretty awesome too, I would totally do that in real life, but anyways, so when I was doing the quest, I mean, I had no problem doing the quest at all, there was no PKers there, and yeah, that's it, finished the quest, all is well, finally, finally, I got my Ivan staff. So yeah, at this point, now we can go ahead and move on to greater and bigger things. So I decided to go get a haircut. Well, not so much a haircut because my character's bald, but get some implants, really. Um, make sure you start the Falador tasks before you do this, because it is one of the tasks, and you might as well make the money worth spending. But I was just tired of looking like Bob, basically. I'll change the clothes later, but at least get some hair. Now I finished another clue that I got, and I was so excited about this because they're Addy Plate Legs. Two of them, and a U-Bow. Normally in, like, real old-school RuneScape, that's crap, but right now we need armor and all that good stuff, so... I mean, it's good stuff. Ended up killing another guy with the Ivan Blast. Just so OP, I killed him, like, hit a 20... Or not a 20, uh... Yeah, I think it was, like, a 21 on him. And just dropped him instantly. Unfortunately, my inventory was full. He had two keys on him. Uh, I hate that, that you actually have to drop your food and all that stuff before, but... Now here's me doing the rest of Tree Gnome Village. And yeah, after I finished this, I was, like, pretty happy about that. And yeah. Hmm. These nuts. Alright, so I ended up getting another kill. Wish I would have got this one on the recording, but I decided to... Well, I didn't decide to. I couldn't record until I basically finished the kill. Or it would pretty much lag me for three seconds before. Ended up giving the guy 20k that helped me kill him. He basically lured him to me. And I ended up, like, basically getting on the guy to attack him after that. So I decided I should share with him. And made a friend with him. So that's actually really cool. Um, finishing up Trinome's Stronghold. Um, had to give the guy the nutsack. 
And yeah, that's what he wanted this whole time. Um, you know, you guys, you could have just asked nicely. But yeah, there you go. Um, there's 11k and also a gnome amulet. I didn't re didn't even know you got this. I totally forgot about this. But yeah, it's actually a pretty good defense necklace, so I'm keeping that for sure for now. It's uh, untradeable, so I could come back and get it if I die somewhere. That's also nice. And yeah, more importantly, I got access to the tree uh, spirits now. So that's even more traveling I can do. And here's the keys that I got from that one dude. The first key was crap. That's probably the guy he PK'd. And here's his. This was actually really cool. He had some good stuff in here. He had a nature talisman. That's 5k. A bunch of limp roots. Prayer potion, um, diamonds, rubies, uh, ring of life. I ended up getting a power amulet from him. I don't know. It's not in this tab, but yeah, he ended up dropping a power amulet, which is also 10 K. I got a lot of stuff from that dude. Also, here's something fun to note. He had an Ivan staff. Now, if he lost his Ivan staff you, to get another one back, it costs you 200 K. So yeah, good fight him. He's probably going to quit, but yep. That's it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time with a new video. Um, hopefully, I can get progress video 4 out, and I'm hoping on Monday or Tuesday. I'll try to get more clips to make them more interesting. And, yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.